Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into another Star Wars Vintage Collection Action Figure Review. You've got the brand new Darth Vader Death Star 2. Um, this one is looking really, really nice. I've watched a, um, watched a couple of people's reviews recently. Um, so yeah, I was very, very excited to finally be able to pick this one up. Found him today in a JB Hi-Fi. Um, so yeah, really, really excited. It is VC280. Hard to believe we're really closing in on that 300. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, other ones on the back here. Um, Hunter, Clone Trooper Phase 2, Cassian Aldani Mission, the Tuscan Warrior, Clone Captain Hauser, Han Solo, and Weequay. Um, none of them I have picked up yet. I will eventually. But for now, I had to get the Vader. I watched a uh, middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures um, review just the other day, and yeah, sort of just decided that this was the this was the first one I really wanted to get from the new lot. Um, Han Solo, I would definitely pick up. Hauser, I'd like to pick up. Um, Hunter, still unsure about it. I might watch some more reviews. Um, Clone Trooper, probably not going to worry. Um, Cassian and the Tuscan, I will. Weequay, not too worried about that one myself. But um, yeah, loving the look of the card back on this one. And the figure itself looks like one of the better Darth Vaders we've seen. Um, and I'm a big fan of the Dark Times Darth Vader. And apparently it's sort of built around that, that sort of base figure. So, you know, we're in for a good one. Um, and yeah, to have... You know, a pretty solid looking Darth Vader with the helmet off. That's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, let's let's crack it open and have a look. Get straight off. Like ripping off a band-aid. Rubbish. Little plastic. Just accessory-wise, you know, he's got his lightsaber. Has his gripping hand. Um, and a glove, which does look like it will pop, pop on. So that's cool. Unlit blade. Help two helmet pieces, which is cool. So can get them out. There's the blade. The hilt, which has a little peg on it. The top of his helmet, the face mask. And then we'll get Vader out himself. So we'll sort of zoom up a little bit on this one. So it's looking pretty damn good. Looking really nice. It's almost a, a nice mix between, um, you know, Sebastian Shaw and Hayden. It's almost right in the middle there. I do want to see if we can pop that off and see if that will come in three parts. I'm just gonna see if this will focus. Really need to get a new camera. So, I don't know, it's kind of a nice mix, I think. Looks nice. Sort of a little bit fuller in the face. Like Sebastian Shaw. I keep wanting to say Sebastian Stan. Uh, not, the, not the first person to do that. Yeah, even behind the mask, though, you pop that in, pop his head in there, and it's a. Uh, you know, it's a little, a little more Hayden-y. But either way, it looks like Anakin to me, which is just awesome. It sits on there nicely. See his lightsaber. We'll peg onto his belt there. Should. A bit of a tight fit, may not be lining up correctly with the belt. That's right, I'm sure it'll get it to work. A little bit, a little bit of a fiddly thing. I'll, I'll try that out later. The hole's there, um, perhaps it's just not lining up underneath for me properly, but that's all good. Not too stressed about that one. See, so obviously, the feature here is that his you know, his hand has been cut off by his son, bit of payback. 
all the wires exposed there looks good yeah a little bit more color yeah it doesn't really matter i suppose but then you'll be able to pop that off like so so it's just a sleeve and then line it up there is a little notch in there somewhere to line up pop the hand out we'll pop that on make sure that's all lined up there we go you can get that hand in and you can just have him as Darth Vader it's definitely a nice Vader I uh, really really dig this one it's looking good I do want to see what he looks like with the helmet on. So it's a nice sort of snug fit. Sort of wraps around the head a little bit. Like so. That's that's fitting really nicely. You know, we've had a few Vaders in the past, like the early VC Vader. Uh, that had the removable helmet and it just sort of never quite fit properly, but it looks like... They've uh, gone back to basics and, and started again. And that helmet's just sort of sitting on there. Just nice. I, yeah, tell you what, that looks pretty good to me. You can barely even tell that's removable. So that's, that's a good size helmet too. Doesn't look too big on Vader. If anything, it sort of makes him look a little bit more sort of bigger. A bit more imposing. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, that's almost justifiable getting a second one of these if you just want a good return of the Jedi Vader. Of course, lightsaber in hand. And having that option to swap the hands out is just really nice. That's a good Vader. Really nice Vader. Definitely on par with the, with the Dark Times one in my opinion. I know there's something about that Vader that just is absolutely awesome. This one's probably similar, very similar to the uh, Revenge of the Sith Vader that came out in the three and three quarter inch black series. That was a pretty good Vader. But I think, yeah, these last couple, this one and the Dark Times, absolutely knocked him out of the park. Help me take this mask off. So we go recreating that iconic scene. I may end up getting another one of these because it's just, you know, to have that scene with Luke. Just being able to display that head sculpt is uh, well worth it, I think. But yeah, Vader, his helmet on. Like I said, really nice sort of snug fit on the head. It's not wobbly. It's not coming off. There's no big gaping gaps in the in the top and the bottom and then to have the the top helmet just the little hiss snap to fit on there just nicely that's really good the nice work on that one has very done well Let's swap that sleeve out again Yeah, brilliant. Very nice. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. This is a good Vader. You know, they're going to keep putting out Vaders no matter what. He keeps selling. We keep buying. I think the cape... It's a little sort of frayed around there, whereas I think in the past they've done like a little bit of a hem on them. No, I think it was, I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was the Dark Times one actually had a seam. I put wire in it and that was, that worked out really well. A little bit of fraying there. But yeah, not a big problem. Yeah, please sound out down below, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.